given that the slope of one line is double the slope of another line and the tangents of the angle between them is 1 over 3. What is the slope of the other line? Okay, so let us begin by considering that the two slopes be denoted by m1 and m2. It's given here that the slope of one of the line is equals to double the slope of another line. So let's say slope of m1 equals 2 times the slope of m2. And also, if we obtain the angle between the two lines, so that's given by the formula tangent of theta equals to absolute value of m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 times m2. So it's given here that the tangent of the angle between the two lines, that's 1 over 3. That means tangent of theta is 1 over 3, which means that we have 1 over 3 equals to this particular form, m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 plus times m2. So let's replace the value of m1 with 2 times m2. So we have 2 times m2 minus m2 divided by 1 plus 2 times m2 multiplied to m2. Okay, so we'll solve this equation for the value of m2 first. So we have 1 over 3, so that would be equals to absolute value. So 2m2 minus m2, that's going to be simply m2, divided by 1 plus 2 times m2 squared. Now, we can rewrite this equation as m2 divided by 1 plus 2 times m2 squared. So this could be equals to 1 third, or it could be m2 over 1 plus 2 times m2 squared equals to negative 1 third because it's an absolute value. Now let's solve each of the two equations. So we'll start with m2 divided by 1 plus 2 times m2 squared. So that's equals to 1 over 3. Now well, what we'll do? We are going to uh, cross multiply to get 3 times m2. That will be equals to 1 plus 2 times m2 squared. This gives us the quadratic equation 2 times m2 squared minus 3 times m2 plus 1 equals to 0. So what we can do? We can factorize the middle term. So we get 2 times m2 squared minus 2m2 minus m2 plus 1. Or simply put, this will be equals to 2 times m2 multiplied to m2 minus 1 minus m2 minus 1 equals to 0. So that means we have m2 minus 1 or 2m2 minus 1 equals to 0. Fine. Now, if we solve the other equation, so we had m2 divided by 1 plus 2m2 squared equals to negative 1 third. So that's going to give us uh, 2m2 squared plus 1 equals to negative 3m2. So we get 2m2 squared plus 3m2 plus 1 equals to 0. So let's again uh, factorize it. So we have 2m2 squared. The so 3m2 can be expressed as 3m2 plus m2 plus 1 equals to 0. The so 2m2 will get multiplied to m2 plus 1 plus 1 times m2 plus 1. So this will be equals to 0. So we have m2 plus 1 multiplied to 2 times m2 plus 1 equals to 0. Now, when we solve for the values of m2 for the first equation, we get m2 equals to 1 or we get half. And for the second set of equation, we get m2 equals to negative 1 or negative half. We can use the condition m1 equals to 2 times m2 to obtain the value of m1. So, m1 will be equals to 2 times either 1, so that gives us a value 2, or we get m1 equals to 2 times half, which gives us a value 1. Okay, and for m2 equals to negative 1 or negative half, we get m1 equals to 2 times negative 1, so that's going to give us negative 2, or m1 could be equals to 2 times negative half, which gives us a value negative 1. Fine. So here, we're getting that m1 could be equals to uh, 2 and m2 value the corresponding m2 value must be equals to 1 or we could get m1 equals to 1 and its corresponding m2 value will be equals to half we have the other case when m1 could be equals to negative 2 when m2 equals to negative 1 or we could have m1 equals to negative 1 when m2 equals to negative half 
So here, these are the all possible values of the soup. It could be one or two, uh, one and two. It could be one and half. It could be so. Uh, it could be negative two and negative one, or negative one and negative half. So let's go to our options. So clearly, we'll see that in options we have half, two, and one. All of these are going to be the possible values of the slope.